What is your name, age, and where are you from? I am Cheryl Campbell, 54, and I'm originally from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Where were you when the terrorist attack happened on September 11th? At that time, I was residing in Greenwood, Indiana, and I was driving on 465 on my way up to the northwest side of town, which is where I work. How did you learn of the attack? I heard it on the radio on my way into work, and when I got there, people had the TV, one, the one TV we had in the building was on, and they were watching the news to see what was going on, and within half an hour upon, upon getting there, the, other, the second plane hit the other tower. Can you go through your day as September 11th unfolded? Upon arriving at work, I had already, already heard about the first incident, and within 10, 15 minutes later, the second plane had hit. People were through work, were going in and out of the conference room because the TV was on, seeing what was going on, what the news broadcasts were saying. Um, and of course, by 10 o'clock, or 9 o'clock, the other one hit, and 10 o'clock, you know, the crash in the field. It was, you know, all over within the morning. And It was kind of hard to concentrate to even work. What do you remember most about that day? That day was hard, a hard day to say the least. From hearing about the first collision while in my vehicle heading to work, getting to work, hearing the second one. You know, everybody was going in and out of the conference room with the television on, trying to hear what people were saying and finding out what was going on. You know, eventually we heard it all through that television and tried to work, but it was very, very difficult. By the end of the day, I was with my fiance at the time at his house, and we just lived, or he just lived about a mile north of the airport. And the hardest part I remember for him was no plane. I mean, we used to constantly hear the planes go over our house, and it was just dead silence. Did September 11th change you? I don't believe it changed me, but I do feel for those who lost loved ones in these attacks that I don't think were necessary. However, um, if my husband was still here, he, I'm sure he would have told you, yes, it's changed. Like I said earlier, we didn't hear planes going over our house for over a month. It, it's, it's the whole world seems different and what's not going on anymore because of it. How do you feel the world has changed as a result? I think the world has changed primarily people who, were, who started treating other nationalities rudely and felt like it was all their fault when just maybe one of the other nations decided to fly the plane into a building. It wasn't their fault. Uh, and even after 20 years, you still see situations like that happen where if it's a different nationality, somebody wants to hold them all responsible for it. And it's not right. Everybody is equal. Are there any final thoughts you would like to add? Not at this time. Thank you very much for your time.